Hi guys. A few days back I made a little fan driven car. This is what remains of it. I've already taken the electric motor off it to do something else. But Chaco J commented on the video that this was in, wondering whether I could use the little electric motor that was on there as a wind powered generator. Well, it's those little uh, what are they, 3.7 volt electric motors, the sort of thing you get in little Hubsan heli uh, quadcopters. I've actually got some still sitting in my quad hovercraft here that I burnt out some of them, that's why there's gaps, and I haven't got round to repairing it yet. But it's still got a couple of electric motors in it, and it's also got these two here that I've actually put on the back there to give us some steering at some time when I eventually get round to it. And they are wired in parallel. And something I have noticed is if I flick one of them, the other one spins. Because the output of that one is going straight into the input of that one. Now normally they'd be fed via that connector there, that would go into the ESC and that would power both of them at the same time but they're contra-rotating so we get the best steering with them. Anyway, having demonstrated that, in fact I might even be able to do it with this little electric fan. And get it going fast enough. Okay. So that's the output of this one is powering the input of that one. It's a bit of a start to get it going. There we go. So if we get enough wind blowing through it, then yes, we do generate some power. The next question is, how much power are we actually generating? Well, that motor there, I've got rigged up to this meter. So, I don't know if we can see the output. on the volt scale at the moment. I'm getting about a quarter of a volt. But if I use that fan again, now I can't put the fan directly over it because it hits the side there, but I can use the fan blade, it's a soft blade, to actually flick the propeller. So I do that. Getting about half a volt out of it. Try it on the milliamp scale. It's around to 200 milliamp scale. Try the same thing again. about 100 milliamps, which is not bad I suppose. 
So you're not going to be lighting any light bulbs with that, not even an LED because we haven't got enough voltage. You need about 3.2 volts for an LED. Just in case you were wondering about those two motors, if I actually power them up. So that should be the steering on this hovercraft. But as I say, I need to replace the motors before I go any further on that. So it's been, well, it's been in the pile for several months now. <laughs> 